Hey guys, it's Cryptomio Analysis coming at you with a quick update video on Dojo on Mars. So this is to, well, this is just an update video, but also this is to one of the subscribers. He says, do you really think that we will go back up and higher um, for Dojo on Mars? My opinion, and I think that we are going to go up and we are going to go higher than our previous high. I don't know when. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I am banking on that. So that's my that's my prediction, and that's one of the reasons why I have this. So uh, you guys already know I have a watch list, right? And this uh, com this composes of like bitcoins and then also member coins. So I don't have any of these coins. I only have a, with the exception of me looking at a couple because a couple of coins are actually pretty good. Um, but I don't have enough Dojo on Mars yet to justify starting to diversify. But when I do, there's definitely a couple of coins that I'm going to buy. But um, this coin is the is one of the coins that I, I do have. So um, I do believe in it. I think it's going to go up higher and I do think it's going to break all time high. Uh, the reason why is because it literally gives me Shiba Inu vibes. So back in the day, we didn't have Rufus Chain. We didn't have the metaverse. We didn't have this new website that kind of like explained, um, that kind of explained, you know, bro broke down this like, oh, okay, like Dojo on Mars metaverse coming soon. Uh, Rufus Chain uh, layer two is in beta. So like we didn't have any of those things and we did go up to here, right? So we did hit what, five zeros two, whatever the all time high was. So in my mind, there's no reason why when these things do come out and when this gets listed on more and more essential exchanges, um, which is actually another thing is like, we're already on crypto.com, we're on Gemini, we're on OKX, we're on Gate.io, so we're on KuCoin. The only ones that we're missing are Binance and Coinbase, the really big ones, maybe Robinhood, maybe Robinhood will list us, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't see any indicators for that because usually we can see that and you can see the wallets and the movements. And trust me, I do look at all of that um, because again, I'm, I have my money in here, right? So I definitely wanted to see what's going on. Uh, but again, when those, you know, when those, when that news comes out, when all, it's all going to hit at once. It's not going to just be like, it's not going to take time. I think that for with Dojo on Mars, we're going to get something like this where we have like literally what four weeks, four weeks of like green god candles, and then that'll be it. So let's look at the RSI and the stock RSI. Um, there is no new news, no new updates. You can clearly see we're still. It's just boring right now. There's nothing exciting. We're still in this channel, so. Like there's nothing, literally, what I'm hoping happens is we consolidate more and then we like, uh, we, we start breaking over the channel and then maybe we come back and retest it and, and then start going up. Uh, but again, like I said last time, the next area of support is gonna be down here around uh, adding a zero eight. Uh, and then on the upside, we need to get over 20. So uh, once we get over 20 again, we should get up on out of here, but right? I don't know. So uh, yeah, let's look at the, I hope that all made sense. So like in terms of if you want my opinion, which that's the only thing I have, because I actually really don't know. I'm in this with you guys. I want this to go up just as much as everybody. Else. That's just as much as the other 152,000 holders. Um, I don't know. I'm just using the indicators, right? And it, it looks really good. Uh, so uh, let's look at the Binance Pack token wallet. No in transactions is this last hundred twenty billion, sixteen thousand dollars worth. Man, I wish I had that many. Well, I wish I had a hundred billion. I want a hundred billion. I think that's a good amount. And the no dead wallet, which we will still look at, but we're not going to really pay too much attention to because there isn't just quite enough movement right now to make a difference. Uh, so no new in transactions, big trans transactions worth mentioning uh, from the uh, from the burn wallet. 
Uh, and I think that's it. Because yeah, our targets are set. We're just accumulating. It's really boring. Uh, but once the volume starts picking up, once you know, once we get something like this again, where the volume jumps to like 30 million, uh, we'll know something's happening and we'll see how high it goes. Uh, until then, we just have to. Until then, it's gonna go to. It's gonna add a zero eight, uh, or we're just gonna be going sideways. So. Uh, be careful again if you're starting a position this isn't a bad place to start a position but in terms of like accumulating like me like imagine buying here and then just keep buying here and then going down here uh which is uh which is six zeros 20 everybody that bought in six zeros 24 and it dropping down to six zeros 13 which is literally 50 percent so like i bought here right so we all know that i did it on the videos last year uh i held we held this entire time and it went back down absolutely crushing but for me it doesn't make sense to buy again here uh when i just be i'm not dollar cost averaging down i'm just buying exactly where i bought like a year ago so in my mind i can't i can't i can't justify that so i'm like well i'm just gonna get it i'm just gonna wait until it like levels down and goes down to adding a zero eight and then I'll buy it because that makes sense. Instead of like people that bought, because even here, look, June 21st, 2022, say somebody bought, right? And then say someone accumulated all the way until, you know, January, 2023, which is six months. That position would be exactly where it's at, okay? So psychologically, it's, it's, it's so like the same thing that happened to us. I'm sure you guys can relate to that where we held, it went up, and then it went all the way back down. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, what if this happens again? What if it goes from, you know, all the way up here, uh, six zeros four to six zeros 14, and that's 50%. All, and, and, and I accumulated for a year, and my capital is now 50% less. So that's my game plan. For some people, it doesn't matter. Uh, for me, it does because I'm not rich. I'm I'm trying to buy the bottoms and I'm trying to buy when the RSI is in the red. And clearly we can see that the last time it was in the red was here uh, when we drew this big wick down to 708. Uh, also, the, another, another comment that I got was from, what was it? He, he was saying that I need to, uh, like he watches it in the car uh, he says, thank you very much for the update because I'm mostly on the go. It's very rare that uh, I'm in one place long enough to watch a video. So for example, when you said people bought here, uh, I have no idea what price ranges you're referring if uh, referring to. If it's not too much going forward, would you mind stating the actual prices instead of saying here for visual reference? Uh, yeah, I can. So that's the Alex 06668. So yeah, I can do that. Uh, that's a fair point. You're right. So when I say people bought here, I mean back in June of 2022, where people accumulated for six zeros 22. So the range of accumulation was six zeros 22 to six zeros five, right? So that's literally like 150. So 100% swing on the upside, 50% swing on the downside. So if, if imagine if you're accumulating for seven months, it, it actually had, it was April. So it's almost June to, it's almost a year. So imagine if you're accumulating for a year for like within this price range, you're like, oh, that's cool. My portfolio is literally the same place. And then all of a sudden we got a capitulation down by 50% to six zeros 11. Uh, you would be absolutely like, you would hate Doge on Mars. So you gotta understand where those people are coming from too. Uh, so what I'm saying is that, that that might be in play here because from August to now we're in August, 2024. So we're in the same, almost in the same spot from August 2023 to August 2024, right? So uh, we're in the same spot. So, you know, we are waiting for the next area of support, which is adding 08. So uh, 708 uh, to, to 709 uh, is the next area of support. Um, that would be a good time to accumulate, in my opinion. And that's what I'm waiting for. Um, and who knows? We might not. We might just go off from here. But I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to be patient and you know, if I, if I don't get in, I don't get in. I have enough coins, so it doesn't matter. Uh, actually, never mind. None of us have any. 
none of us have enough coins. We always want more. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I hope this all made sense. I know this, uh, you know, it's kind of went off topic and off price prediction and everything like that. But I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just waiting. We're just, we're just all waiting in the same waiting room right now. Uh, we're waiting for the rockets to launch, and then when the rockets launch, we're basically waiting to fly up on out of here and start heading to Mars. So, anyway, I hope this all made sense. Please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are awesome. And uh, hopefully the next video I make, we're over 20 again. Uh, and if we're not, then we're just going to be stuck at between, what was it, the range, which is uh, 11 and 16 which is what we said, which is exactly where we are. We're in resistance right now. So uh, anyway, uh, catch you guys in the next video. None of this is financial advice. It is just my opinion. And have a great Sunday.